This is a follow-up video from the one we did on the Lunos E2 heat recovery ventilation system. Had a few questions about how the controller works. So this guide supplied by the heat company here is a lot more intuitive than the manual that it comes with. So I'm going to run through these now. So number one, the fan button. So I'm doing a little bit of learning here myself. So we can adjust the fan. Oh, you can see the lights moving up and down. So that there should go up to full. I'm listening to it now. I'm not sure if you can hear that on camera, but that has ramped the fans up to full noise. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four. And then nothing. So I'm guessing nothing's either no fan off or there's a fifth stage there. Yeah, so no lights on means no fan going. Oh, I've just pressed the wrong button. Not that one. This one. So we'll put it on one. See if that cranks up. Yep. Okay. So that's pretty easy. That's your fan speed. Manual fan speed. Number two, teardrops. The humidity is active. Ah, uh, yeah. I've played around with this before. So you can hear that ramp up. So what I'm checking here is just to see when this is on or off. I'm pretty sure when you can just see, you see those other three LEDs light up faintly, that, that means that is on. So you'll notice that depending on the humidity, and I'd recommend getting a real simple humidity meter here, this costs like two bucks on Amazon or one of those. I can see there it just ramped up now. That's, oh, it's really ramping up. It's probably actually because I've got my hand close to it, maybe. It's actually quite sensitive. I've noticed, too, if you've we've got a fruit bowl here, if you've got your fruit next to it, it um, obviously there's moisture in the fruit that it ramps up, or you put, a, like, a wet hat there or something. Obviously changes the humidity, so the location where you put this is pretty critical for that feature. Yeah, so get yourself one of these. You can see what's going on. Um, for very little cost. Um, pretty uncommon to see something like this in New Zealand. Um, most other countries have central heating systems and stuff where you've got this information. Uh, New Zealand's a little bit backwards in terms of that, so it'd be good to push forward on that simple little thing. Okay, so keep the teardrop on, which is all of those activated. That will increase the fan speed and decrease the fan speed depending on your humidity. So say you've just had a shower, your humidity might drop up to 80. That'll crank the fans up to expel that humidity. Number three, window button. Okay, well, let's turn that off. Now press that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now that's sucking out. That is quite good. Um, again, if you've had a shower and it gets all hot and steamy, you can just suck out for 30 minutes. But that only seems to work when you're in the manual, uh, when you're not in the humidity mode, which they recommend to be on. So that's pretty much bearing that useless. And I'm, yeah, and that'll turn it off. But I'm guessing the reason is when you are in that humidity mode, that will do that for you automatically. So again, the location of this controller is critical. If you've got that right near a bathroom door or something where moist humidity might be coming out when you open the door, that's going to ramp right up. Or if it's way at the other end of the house and it doesn't get so much humidity, it might not turn on enough. We've got ours relatively well positioned in the centre of the house, but... Maybe down here it's a little bit more protected, but having saying, say, said that, I mean, humidity in the house is going to equalise somewhat anyway, I would have thought. So, moving on, the moon button. The moon button. Press, detect night time reduction. 
Oh, so that's nice. We don't use this. But that basically turns it off for two hours while you're going to sleep uh, if you're sensitive to the noise that it makes. Now we're totally used to it. It took a few nights, of course, hearing some fans quietly um, spinning. But honestly, you soon get used to the noise. But that is quite a nice function. So you can hit that before you go to sleep. So sun button. Uh, so that's used in the summer to turn off the heat recovery ventilation. So you don't want to be pumping in warm air when the tiny house is already way too hot because generally tiny houses get too hot because they're small and generally don't have overhangs over the windows one of the big problems of a tiny house yeah so that's i'm guessing one's just blowing one's just sucking so that's definitely in summer mode um how do we get out of summer mode this will run sun mode this will run until manually switched off or after eight hours turn back to heat recovery mode automatically. Yeah. So that only runs for eight hours. So I don't really see the point of that. So on summer, are you going to press that every morning you wake up because it's hot? I don't think I'm going to do that. The brightness setting of all LEDs can be dimmed or switched off completely by pressing this button. So on off button. If the button is pressed in help for three seconds, the ventilation switch is off completely not advised. Well, okay. So this is why I should have done this years ago because we stuck this tape on here to see this here pulls out of here we stuck this tape on here to stop the light shining down on when we're sleeping so that's why another I thought at the time kind of an important where you put it because you don't want these lights shining on you especially a white light not good for you apparently only red, red lights when you're sleeping, apparently. It's like a fireplace when you're a caveman. So we can make that look a bit nicer again. Take that off. Now that's wanting to fall out of there now. Anyway, it's fine for now. So look, now you can actually see the LEDs properly. So let's press that power button. So that dims them. That's where it was running, which should be pretty good or you can go off how cool is that so now at night it's not going to matter now i'll just check that the fan is still going because that looks like it's off and that's what i mean about the unit not being that not being that intuitive unless you know because i would have thought i've turned that off now but the fans are going okay number six a vent button when this led lights up the Filters will need to be cleaned in soapy water. When it's done, press and hold. Okay, so when we've done that, we'll press and hold. Two, three. Does that turn that off? Yep. Cool. Now, we've had this unit for two, maybe three years. And I've been uh, really bad here and haven't even thought about cleaning the filters um, until now. So that's that's not the filter, that's the cover, so that just pulls off, but you can see there's reasonably dirty in there, that definitely needs a clean. Now I'll show you the filter. So we're semi-rural, so you could say the air's reasonably clean here, I don't know, there'd be pollens and stuff, but like, look at the state of that. I mean, it probably could be worse, but there's definitely, that definitely uh, needs a clean out. So that won't be helping our system, that'll be struggling away. So that's another benefit of the system, that you're actually breathing in filtered air. Press and hold for three seconds. Ventilation switches off completely not advised. Yeah, because if you're turning it off, what's the point of having it? One, two, three. Yep, so that has turned it off. 
good, let's just turn that back on. So turning back on, it just switches back on again. So I hope that helps you guys. Uh, in hindsight, I would have looked at this when I installed it and got myself clued up. So I'm glad I've got myself clued up now of how it works. Uh, if you've got any questions at all, um, just fire away in the comments section. And if you want more of a rundown on the system, check out the video linked at the end of this. Cheers, see you guys.